In this video, let's discuss few hot questions from the chapter Heredity and Evolution. Question: Do genetic combination of mothers play a significant role in determining the sex of the newborn? Answer: No. Mothers have no role in determining the sex of the newborn mothers have a pair of x chromosomes and all the children will inherit an x chromosome from their mother regardless of whether they are boys or girls in human beings the statistical probability of getting either a male or female child is 50 is to 50 give a suitable explanation answer the sex of a child is determined by the type of sex chromosome contributed by male gamete the statistical probability of getting either a male or female child is 50 is to 50 because the ratio of male gametes containing x chromosome and those containing y chromosome is 50 is to 50 Here is the next question. A woman has only daughters. Analyze the situation genetically and provide a suitable explanation. Answer: The woman produces ova or egg with X chromosome, and man produces sperms with X or Y chromosome. If the husband of the woman transfer X chromosome, or otherwise, if the X carrying sperm fertilizes the ova, then the child will be a girl. On the other hand, if the husband transfer Y chromosome, or the Y carrying sperms fertilize the egg, the child will be a boy. In the case. the husband is always transferring x chromosome and hence all the children are girls or by chance the x carrying sperms were fertilizing the ova so all the girl children born to them study the following cross and showing self pollination in f1 generation fill in the blank and answer the questions that follows here look at the cross first the parents pea plants are yellow and round seeded plants the genotype is capital r capital r capital y capital y it was crossed with wrinkled and green seeded pea plant whose genotype is small r small r small y small y below that it is given f1 generation in the f1 generation the parental phenotype is round and yellow seeds because there is one dominant gene capital r and there is one dominant gene for yellow color so they have round and yellow seeds in f1 generation self pollination is made so in the place of question mark the same to be repeated capital r small r capital y small y 
the phenotype is round and yellow in the previous question what are the combinations of characters obtained in f2 progeny what are their ratios it was a dihybrid cross so four different types of combinations or phenotypes were obtained they were round yellow round green wrinkled yellow and wrinkled green these combinations were obtained in the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 give the basic features of the mechanism of inheritance answer characters are controlled by genes each gene pair control one character genes are located on chromosomes there may be two or more forms of gene an individual possesses two forms of genes whether similar or dissimilar one form may be dominant over the other the two alleles separate at the time of gamete formation the two forms are brought together in a zygote alleles of different genes located on separate chromosomes behave independent of one another these are some of the features of the mechanism of inheritance give reasons for the appearance of new combinations of characters in the f2 progeny answer an organism can inherit each character independently so in the f2 progeny new combination of character appears tall or short that is the height of the plant and round or wrinkled seed that is the shape of the seed these traits are independently inherited here is the next question the sex of the children is determined by what they inherit from their father and not their mother justify answer it is because a child who inherits an x chromosome from her father will be a girl and one who inherits a y chromosome from his father will be a boy but all children inherit a x chromosome from their mother regardless of whether they are boys or girls hope this video is helpful for your preparation i'll meet you again with another set of questions in the next video